which narrative will resonate with the people of Bharat. It's important to sift through the shadow boxing and political muscle flexing and stick to the facts on the ground. Our comprehensive and extensive Times Now ETG research survey will get you a glimpse into what's in the minds of people of Bharat, weeks ahead of the 2024 Mahabharat. Will Prime Minister's attack on coalition of corruption stick? Will defections topple the Congress ship? Will SDPI support backfire on Rahul Gandhi? Can Modi counter the minority vote bank with the support of Mahilas? And finally, can the miffed allies of Omar, Uddhav, Akhilesh and uh, Pinari Vijayan all unite to fight together against the Modi ki leher? On the one hand, uh, there is uh, BJP. On the other hand, there is internal dissent, detractors uh, and defections which are chipping away at the India alliance. They are fast losing steam, fighting their own alliance partners rather than countering the Modi wave. With the Vipak slowly descending into doom and gloom, their desperation is showing while a Congress leader from Chhattisgarh urges hit Prime Minister Modi with a lati charge. Others lob sexist slurs on women. BJP candidates uh, and uh, every other day on target is Kangana Ranaut, Hema Malini, Lockit Chatterjee. Picking up a leaf from Rahul Gandhi's uh, Asur Shakti toolkit, Randeep Surjewala has used derogatory language against Hema Malini. While a Trinamool Congress neta, BJP's Lockit Chatterjee has been called a do nambari mal. Language, language. Is this Mohabbat ki dukaan that Rahul Gandhi promised? So if we look at uh, mean number, it's about 37 seats. Ek 400 par ki baat kar raha hai, ek 40 bhi nahi par kar pa raha hai, kya chakkar hai, pata nahi. YSR uh, CP, uh, ik, uh, 21, 22, uh, that's uh, the number showing DMK 24 to 29, Trinamool Congress 17 to 21, uh, BJT 10 to 12, Aam Aadmi Party 5 to 7, uh, other 72 to 92. Smita Prakash, last word, uh, numbers here. Close to 370, close to 400. Uh, campaign still picking up. The first phase of polling still two weeks away. What are your impressions of these numbers? Uh, see, uh, there are many uh, surveys which have come and round about many of them, uh, most of them are saying what uh, your survey has said. So uh, to discredit a survey is the easiest thing to do. Uh, the difficult thing is to take the survey as a challenge and to work. Uh, towards uh, proving it wrong or to work harder. That is what a political party should do weeks before an election. But then uh, what do I know? I'm probably one of the YouTubers who's being discredited. Uh, but uh, I'm in traditional media as well. The reality check on the ground gives the NDA Alliance 384. That's very, very close to the Charso mark. Uh, and I'm sure they're looking at these numbers very closely. The big story... Bengal, resurgence of the BJP, South India giving up a surprise. Uh, Odisha looking like uh, BJP is making big gains there as well. And of course, Telangana and uh, Andhra, maybe something is happening for the NDA alliance. What's going to happen? We'll keep our hands on the pulse of India and we'll get you the numbers, the surveys, the analysis.